Number 24, for which of the reactions in exercise 13.16 does Kc, which is calculated using concentrations, equal Kp, which is calculated using pressures? And we have one of the examples from that exercise list here. So in this case, we have to figure out, does the Kc equal the Kp for this balanced equation? Well, let's see. The Kc will equal the Kp when the gas moles of the reactants equal the gas moles of the products. But pay attention, they only care about the gases. So just make sure that we're only taking into consideration the gas moles here. So look at those states. But I got a gas here and a gas here. So I'm going to be taking these two into account. Now how do we find out the actual moles? Well, that's easy, that's the coefficients, the big numbers in the front. So for example, there was no number in front of here, so that just means that I had one mole of the N2O4, and since this is the only reactant, I just have one mole of reactant. Let's do the same thing for the product side. Here, NO2, there was a two in front of here, and that's the only product, so I have to have two moles of the gas of the product. And now let's see, one does not equal two, so does the Kc equal the Kp? No, it doesn't because those numbers are not the same. They do not equal each other. And that answers the question. So hopefully this helped, guys. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video if it helped you out. Just gets the word back to me that, you know, we're, we're helping you out here. Um, yeah, let's keep, let's keep rocking and rolling. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes, and I will see you all in the later lessons. Bye-bye.